Kirk had a game that I can't stand by. Yeah, not the first one he's had this year. And I, where, hey, where the people at that was slandering me on YouTube at? Where they at? <laughs> I want to hear all this. I'm not a true. I am. A, I'm a, a realistic Vikings fan. <laughs> Uh, 205 yards, touchdown, and three picks. Three picks. Three of them things. Just last week, I said Captain Kirk. Yeah. And we had a bet. <laughs> what was the bet? I was supposed to call Captain Kirk for a week. Yeah, no, not going to. I'm not calling Nick. Uh, he's not getting called Captain Kirk the rest of the year for me. He got to win the Super Bowl for me to even consider it. But throwing three picks. Oh, no. Against your arch rival, too. And I called. I said, I told. I came on here and said what was going to happen. You did. I, you did. I, I, I said, I wouldn't be surprised if they blew us out. Ugh. Because Aaron Rodgers, when he see the when he see it, when he wake up and he's like, oh, we can still go to the playoffs. Oh, let me put this in third gear. <laughs> Rev it up real quick and show you how it's really done. You got that right. Oh, you ever seen that one catch? Down Cook went in the leading rusher. Aaron Rodgers ran for a touchdown, threw for a touchdown. Pick six. This is what everybody's been saying all year about the Vikings. They fluky. Mm -hmm. They they went out of close games. I'm glad that you won them, but can you win like all your losses or blowouts or double digits? Damn. Or nine. Oh, sorry, Detroit was nine. Might as well be double digits. When I, when they lost, I just like, man, Tony gonna let this one go. He gonna let this one down. No, I'm not. And we don't got this week. We not got to play our starters against the Bears. When we played our starters, because we had a chance for first place. Now we lost. Go sit down. Go rest. Y'all play a court, a half, and y'all play. Y'all sitting down the rest of the game. Damn. Week eighteen. Y'all gotta stay healthy for the playoffs, so we do have a chance. Speaking of other players coming, I'm gonna move on from this because I I I can't take it. Oh, uh, you can't take it now? I can't take it. This is not oh, okay. Had enough of the of the uh, Kirk Cousins slander. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move forward to another player that's gonna get a lot of smoke this week. Baker Mayfield, the comeback kid. Oh yeah, they got busted. I forgot about them. <laughs> <laughs> I love how nice and loud you're like, oh yeah, that's right, they did get busted. I forgot about that. I forgot about that game because I expected the Chargers to win, so <laughs> You do know what this means, don't you? What does this mean? You're not going to lose the head coach, Stally. You're going to extend him. Uh, it's possible. He's supposed to beat the Rams, uh, unhealthy Rams. He's supposed to beat them. Yeah, but. If he shows, yeah. he has to. Staley no. has, if he wins his a playoff game, then he could stay. If he loses a playoff game, you can still get fired. I care what your record is. I got Sean Payton on the line waiting for you to mess up. That's fair. Just wait. <laughs> and lastly, the Steelers, before we get to the Monday night matchup, the Steelers found their way past the Ravens 16 to 13. Tyler Huntley did what he could, just wasn't good enough. Not enough. And Kenny Pickett had a pedestrian, yet it was an effective game. And they are not eliminated from playoff contention. And he has a winning record now. It's not a losing Mike record. Is not going, he's going. I said it. I think we both. He's going to have a winning record. 